Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we just heard a scream outside of Coastal. Now we're gonna go find out what it is. What is that scream? Oh no. Oh, the baby turned into a monster. No! Oh, look at that. The monster is just kicking the crap out of that soldier. Way to go. Yes. Yeah, we can't... What, you can't fight that kid? Can't fight that kid, huh? Yeah, the town will never have another child because it'll just turn into monsters. So, now, what are we gonna do? Yeah, that was, I guess this is the full moon. Yep. Oh, he has more than one curse on this country. That's for sure. Anyways, let's, uh, let's see. Can't leave. Let's go talk to the king. Or the chancellor, or whatever. Explore the castle a little more. Now that it's night time. And so, yes. That is the tragedy of our land. Mm. It does seem hard to believe, but I guess it's true. And now... Yeah, where do they go? Where do those monsters run off when they do whatever? Anyways, now the guard left the stairs over here, and we can come up over here. Anything? First, let's steal the treasure. And then, yeah, shark guy, Anise. Anise was, I guess, his wifey? And she doesn't feel good or something? I wish you could see her better, but you kind of can't. Well, we'll just, I'll show her off later. Anyways, we have to go out here and talk to this guy. His name is The Bard. And, oh, he's talking about when we tra he traveled with the Mardi Dragon. Oh, and now we're gonna have a flashback. Wow, is that a ship? Holy moly, that is huge. It's got a friggin' fountain on it. Flowers. Just look at all these sails and everything. Oh, so that is Shark Eye. And cattle. Cadell. I like Cadell better. Anyways, it looks like we're gonna have a giant flashback here. So get ready for some, uh. some backstory. About Shark Eye and the Marl D. Dragon. Marl D. Dragon. So now he come down here because the country of Coastal, or the or the Chancellor of Coastal, has asked him to do stuff. And so yeah, they want they want Sharky to, or Shark Eye to uh, to uh, join forces with the with Coastal. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so they can take out monsters. So these pirates are kind of like, you know, the Robin Hood kind of pirates. Where they don't do bad things to people. But they live on the high seas. Oh, Cadell's gonna gouge out his eyes. Nice. Oh, look at that. They're gonna go to Ragu's. Ragu. Arg, e arg, ay ay arg. Yes, ninety nine bottles of rum on the wall. Ninety nine bottles of rum. So yeah, look at that ship. Jeez, it's 
huge. It's got like its own ecosystem. It reminds me of like the ship even though it's not that big from One Piece. And what do we have here? Oh, I remember this music. This is the music from uh, when Kiefer left. It looks like the bard is playing it. It's a niece. Shark Eyes Wifey. Yes. This reminds me of like a cruise ship. Even. Look at how big it is. It's just, it's, it's like a castle. Yeah. She's the wife of Captain Shark Eye. Yeah. She was a princess in another country, eh? I wonder what country. Now she's a pirate wife. She's a scallywag. Arr, Anise. Arr, darling. Eor. Oh, look, they're going back to sleep. Oh, look at that. So he's. He's only doing to defend the seas. He's a good and honorable pirate. There's not many of them around. But he's one of them. Oh yeah. So we got more flashbacks. This must be two years later. A kill is a kill is a kill. Yeah, they keep coming back, these monsters. Why is that? Yeah, he's going to attract them and lead them out to sea. I don't know. What about the land monsters? Ooh, Anise is pregnant. She's Pregos. Look at this. Here, here comes Shark Eye. He's a pretty cool dude right there. I'd like to see what he looks like in color. Instead of sepia. But yeah. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before you guys lose. So Shark Eye's gonna lure them away and keep them away from Coastal. But we all know that what happens to them. Oh, so they're gonna have a party. Look at this. They're having This is the party ship. Look at this place. Bring more rum. Rar yar 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 yardle. Something something on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yeah, look at this. Your ship is the best. Oh, not since his wifey. What do you mean his wife? Oh, they're gonna leave a niece at coastal, eh? Year of the kid. I wonder what happened to the kid. I wonder if the kid was born. And now look, it's raining. It's raining, man. Anyways, yeah. Aww. Hell yeah, raise the kid on the high seas. That would be cool. That would be damn cool. Pirate boy. Or girl. I don't know. Anyways, the, that's the bard right there. And we are from a fisherman town. Well, only me, really. I'm the only person left from the original crew. Maribel and Kiefer aren't around anymore. Ah, yes. The Marl de Dragoon. Yes, so... Yeah. We're gonna go back to the inn and rest up. And there's a uh, there's a niece. I wonder she must have already had her kid. I mean, what? No, we're not Sharky Eye. 
Yeah, she must have been dreaming. I think she already had her kid. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know what the uh, thing is. So anyways, the, uh, what ended up happening in that ship is they went out. And I guess uh, they got turned into a giant thing of ice. And it's all, it's gone. Look at that. And we'll find out more about this place, uh, eventually. Yeah, she's sick. She's not feeling too well. Oh, she's a beautiful young woman, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we'll have to continue with, uh, this coastal region in the next episode. Bye-bye.